Any people go in there with them. They were what pulling, they were to win yeah. and singing. In Pula, there are four places of Pula, four main distinct districts. One is Woodland, one is Kirwin, one is Tutan or Dub, and one is the fourth one is Saraman. They are all interconnected. I reduce definition of Kula to this basic human experience, the art of gift giving and gift receiving. Over times, over generations, over millennia, in the islands here we have over 3,000 years, develop an interconnection of clans, families, with histories. And we have two objects, the Mwali, the armbands and the solar, the necklaces, as the two symbolic physical objects that represent the practice of kula, the art of gift giving and gift receiving. Engage more and more. Once you're in kula, you're in kula for life because it's not just about exchanging those two physical objects of wealth. The greatest gift is the experience of giving and receiving gifts and they take on many forms it can be sharing of news it can be sharing of sympathies it can be sharing of of meals or helping out on a on a small problem that they come to but that's appreciated and it it carries an, a debt burden for the receiver you do it right, he will not sleep. He'll go back and he'll be planning and thinking how to kill you with kindness next time you show face at his house. Bualai. Bualai is the spirit of balance. Discipline and balance. And will always be the spirit that the whale and the dolphin carries.
Unless I wanted to enter cooler. What would I have to do as a beginner? Oh, you have to, uh, sometimes you just go and talk. If you are a good talker, mm. and good, uh, good person, some, you know, sort of like miracle or something with yourself. And then you can get the buggy start if you go to buggy sack and then you start your cooler. A partners. If say this one, throw people comes, we throw them to them. Uh, this one and the other one there, it's one partner, but this one will be different. But five, I think. Five partners. I started my coloring when I was at Alotau, uh, working with uh, as a modernized team, <laughs> like trade men trade mm -hmm. uh, in the business. Then before I start. Um, Eighties, could be eighty-six or eighty-seven. I start my coloring. Yeah, you were there in nineteen seventy-six. Should be nineteen, nineteen seventy-nine or seventy-eight. Uh, Miss was right. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kawe. <laughs> Kawe. And when you first start to play Kula, you get tricked and you have to know certain things that you didn't know at the beginning? Oh, yes. Mm. Because, you see, if you are not uh, playing that part, yeah, obviously you would know, but when you are actually, you are inside, all right, then you will learn or know more things about school. Just like uh, schooling, when you start schooling, you would know everything, do you? You have to, you know, learn step by step before you know everything. So you're still learning? Oh, yes. Padau, it's very big. What's the name of the song? Padau. Our ancestors already say they ate the shell, yeah. but we only use the shell not. <laughs> 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 Is is father the only one? To one man from Gilewa in order new canoe from Kita, they went there to throw that uh, buggy to get uh, Lale La Pesin. Named um, Tokurae, he's a chief of Lale. La. <laughs> My brother won it, so he got that buggy, gave it to his wife. That means finish this one back because this one is for Kula. So I made one like this for ladies to decorate them. So put that one back in the ring? Oh, yes. You see, because I bought a buggy, if I bought this buggy, exchange this one, this one goes for cooler. This one, I can hold it. Did I do it for cooler? Oh, no. This buggy here, because it's got a big name a bit. And so when they took the cooler into here to get this one, they used this one as they like campaign in order to get this one. But they don't even ask me, but that is how the cooler goes. Some, uh, you know, some people, they do that. They try, even all my cooler partners, they try. I already told them, I said, this is my Kitomo, belongs to my brother who gave it to me. You go and look for the big money you get, the shell, and then whoever person comes, my all cooler partners, I'll give it to him. So they like that. They sort of aiming for that. You see, in fact, you see, uh, they brought this one for this body. Mm. You know already to which partner you're gonna pass it on? Not yet. Not yet. Not huh? yet. So they're still gonna have to convince you. Huh? 
No matter what you yourself want, the final outcome will always be determined by the creation of this shared experience by another party. And you will never know what that other party is likely to spring onto you. What surprises? What requests? And it's the ability to deal with it best you can, knowing full well that you can be a fool by just giving away and never seeing a return. Or you can be so hard that you kill your cool over. What's up? It's in the brain, man. It's in the brain. Come on, go on. Yeah. 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 It is an experiment, a living experiment in growing. Disaster at sea. The Toliwaga, the owner of the canoe, the master of the, will always carry the stone. I'll show you the stone later. At the back of, of the splashboard, lagging, it's always there in the canoe. If you find disaster at sea, in order to save your crew and the safety of the crew, the last thing that you would fall upon is a wind. And how you do it is you have to recite this magic. You drop the, the stone wherever you are and direct which island you want to go. And if you get everything correct and you have observed the discipline correct, for sure the whale will come. And between the outrigger and the canoe, you tell all the crew to hang on and the whale will carry the entire canoe to the island that you go. Oh, it's different. Yeah. Wow. Hello. Hello. You're going to Kitaba? Yeah. Okay. Wow. This one is really It's that discipline of balance. Absolute safety requires you not to even launch your canoe to sea. That is guaranteed. No risk. Mm -hmm. But it also guarantees you no adventure, no success, mm. and you die mm. from your safety. Mm. Alternatively, mm. you can court disaster mm -hmm. by hasting. You're so ambitious of wanting to beat your competitor mm -hmm. 
that you will not take into account the timing of the wind, mm -hmm. nor the sound preparation of the canoe. Mm -hmm. You want in a hurry, you don't carry a spare paddle, spare sail. Mm -hmm. Then you launch, mm -hmm. your, then halfway through there, your mast break, your sail is gone. Mm -hmm. Then you, that's also foolish. The balance of Bualai is to be able to have the discipline, the excitement of taking a decision to launch your canoe. But in launching your canoe, always make sure that you carry a spare sail, mm -hmm. spare tackle and everything. And sometimes the spare gear and tackle is not necessary in, in physical terms. Mm -hmm. It's your spiritual power and your connection. And the main one is just one stone. I'm going You have the top cam, what? <laughs> but I hear you, I sense you. You exist in the void and in emptiness, in the darkness. But you are there and you are real. So it's been able to communicate with God. The purpose and the discipline of rainmakers always require them to be absolutely solitary. Sometimes they go to the beach, sometimes in the middle or in the, right inside of their house where there's no disturbance and they put themselves in a trance. They retrace the steps of the child that's living in the coral reef to the sky in the form of rain and to come back. What is that force that those two lovers discovered? the life force. So this person defined it by asking a rhetorical question. Who are you? Moving in silence and in darkness. I cannot see you, I cannot touch you. But you are there in this great void and emptiness. Yeah, Bag. 
this awareness, once you'll be able to feel the wind, you understand. And you can tell people when it's going to rain, because you put yourself in that state. Suddenly, your vision, you are communicating with the wind, with the sky, and you can tell when it's going to rain. And concentrated enough, sure enough, you can cause rain. This has been a witness and a party, just like a cooler object, Sola or Mwari. You look at it, it looks simple, just an armband or a necklace. But you can mistake it as being simple. You recognize it for what it is, then you find the enrichment of thousands and thousands of presences of other people's hands negotiating powers. And it's alive the minute it moves. And you can call on that if you respect that and understand that. The fourth district, there their kula is the more accounts, Kabekune, the real kula in the physical sense of accounting for all the misbehaved keda and uh, you know misplaced keda. They get back and match the origins and that's how it's balanced again. The real accountants. So that's one. More cooler partners you have, more cooler experiences you have, the richer you become. These are the description. Wood luck. Kabeagisa means your kula is what you see is what you get. If you don't possess physically, the Mwari or Sola don't even talk that you are You don't even talk that you are this, this. Ferguson, Kabeyo Bueni. The emphasis of their style of cooler is on hospitality. And that's where you will find the majority of power play in cooler and decisions are made by women. The women, the sisters and the wives of important people are the ones who make the decisions because they control the cooking place. partner from Kitao, we go to Iwa, pick up our partner, we go to Gawa, pick up our partner, then all four of us will travel to Woodland physically and arrive there. When we negotiate, I sit there, I don't open my mouth. The Kitao man sits there, doesn't open his we mouth. We listen, we share the, the hospitality, Iwa man sits there, does but not open his he's mouth. the one who is doing all the talking. And sometimes he puts it in a language that's benefiting him more than translating what I want to get across to the next partner. But you have to bear and grin and swear inside. The bastard he is, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's doing it for his own, own purpose. But it's bad manners for you to open your mouth. That's the license. You must allow him. And many, many people avoid that because they know if you go with your cooler partners there, you have to bear the brunt of them telling very bad, passing the back of their mistakes and everything, excusing themselves, in order to ingratiate with the person on Woodland. They have to pass all their mistakes and transgressions onto you so far away. And it's within your hearing shot while you sit there and then they call you a bastard, mean, miserable person <laughs> and, uh, so that he can, you know, the other party can feel that, oh, yeah, it's true, it's not your fault. You are a good man. Because he's a good man, he'll pass the money to you. It brings peace, huh? because I regarded one, that is why they have to make a feast for it and then later they can give it out to their cooler partner. 
uh, we call it uh, guiaus only. It, so they, it goes, it travels like that, around like that. And this is the most famous baggy that we have. Togirana. Says the Tomaiti Esana. Ediyebi. Even si Saudi te busaru enai ai kalatai si Togirana. Oh, so this buggy is called Shiba. Because this value is very high, a lot of people can dry, dry because if I give it to someone else, it's not my partner, and I give it to someone, that will cause a death in the chlorine. And in Trovrian, the Kula partners in there, they knew that we are holding uh, Chiba in here. Mm -hmm. Chiba owner is now Ricky. One year of dealing with many people. Nobody will ever understand because they are not witnesses to it. Only your children, your wife, and maybe your villages. They will know this. And without realizing it, they already share that experience too. That's why when somebody's in Kula, you will find that it, the, the Kula experience will always affect the quality of developments of their children, their household, and their relatives, and even their villages. People think that this chief has got this very important, famous Moali or Solar. And it's true, all the time his reputation and name is carried by the association with the object that he has received, is able to acquire through his Kula partners. And that's the general impression and public opinion, and they talk about it. It's very old. It's a burden to possess something that's famous because once you possess it you never have freedom of time and peace the minute you possess it every day you are having contenders arriving at your house you have no privacy you have no energy to be yourself so you have to pay the personal price of looking after negotiating with other parties who come for that two objects moali and solava is always referred to man and a woman. Mm. Mwali is always referred to as male, mm. man. Solava is the woman. The exchange between a man and a woman, which is a love relationship, mm -hmm. expressing in different ways the jealousies that can come up from it. The reproduction of other gifts, children of the Kula, Kitom, the quality of that shared exchange. And all the time when Kula is in poetic language, when they talk about Kula and, and the two objects change in hands, we'll always refer to it as a marriage of these two objects. It's a symbol. It's, it's a symbol. A symbol. Reduce it down, you will find the people who have become Kula masters. You can recognize them straight away when you meet with them. This one's worth thousands of kina. I mean, to I would think. For example, this one you cannot buy it. You buy it and they kill the person who sells it, sell it to you. you enables you to really practice the art of gift giving and gift receiving. And tell me, what is love?
Canoes and collecting legends and putting them together, trying to get a migration and totemic symbols and all those. It's now I'm now more qualified to teach folklore. And then what I you know do, and also at the university I was just manufacturing sauce. Turbine Islands is different. We don't do our cool. Our style of cool is completely different. In fact, we we uh, when once they saw lava, and while it reaches Turbine Islands, they hardly remain in one village for more than one or two months. The minute they arrive there. They move on very, very fast. But our kula is always done on boot, which is reputation, future as well as past. Our kula partners may possess the Mwali in woodland. That, to us, is enough proof that we already have it. Absolute trust in our partners. There's no need to question that. We take our kula from here and go to the next one, Sinaketa people, and try to bargain and get Solawa in advance against what is still coming. If you don't do that in trouble numbers, you'll always find left out. So to get the people on your side, you have to chill with them, you know, joke, and try and get close to them to understand. Um, it's no good running a festival from the office or from the press of the Magic becomes a fundamental issue. So, uh, throughout that time, I'm trying to manage these people's you know, belief in magic. But Mimbe alone has more kind of types than all the country put together.
It's about setting up. You can have cooler partnerships. And partnerships are not necessarily created by contracts. You can, more complicated they are and involving third, fourth parties, yes, you cement it with contracts. But partnerships really grow by acts of meeting people. And you know yourself, wherever you travel around the world, there are people you meet and automatically you feel more comfortable with and you begin to share ideas with. It may be only for five minutes or ten minutes or one day, but you never forget about them. You pass on, but you carry with them that experience of shared exp that spirit and it grows on you. You become richer for it, for having met those persons. You have, you have just acquired a, a cooler connection. With modern technology and ability to move between cultures and between nations, I for one believe in the formalized, extending the cooler system into a, a, an international cooler. All you require is one person to commence with. They themselves, being enriched, will affect and pass on to the communities of the nations. It's one bay or channel where there's fresh water. Mm -hmm. And every morning, our dolphins, our school of dolphins, mm -hmm. swim past and we say they go to drink water. And every day they do it, it's a school of them. And nobody must touch them, nobody spear them. They're connected to our cooler, to one of my sisters and the entire family. Their purpose of coming is she's going to take her children all their daughters, and they're going to go down to our beach and to camp. And 
one of the exercises is actually to tell them the story of, of the dolphins. And it's not just telling them the story, but to introduce the dolphins to, to, to her children. Later she will come and meet the family members, human beings. But on arrival she's taking the entire family uh, down to the beach and they're going to camp there. And the sole purpose is to introduce the, her children to the other members of our family, yeah. which is the school of dolphins. The best description, for my mind anyway, every time I think of Kula and the opportunity every day of meeting with people and giving simple things, not necessarily physical, but sharing with them even just conversation. Kula is like the wind. Can you, can you see the wind? Can you contain the wind? Yet you can feel it. And yet it's alive. And it moves. So the challenge is every day with meeting people is your kula, how to be like the wind. Create the presence. It carries already. Create it right. You can give a desert, blizzard, very hot wind, or you can give a, a wind that is freezing from the snow, or you can give it a very warm, gentle breeze, depending on location, place, and time. All kinds of wind have their place and power and force. So that's how I, I see Kula as. <laughs> Once shared that simple experience, it affects your quality of your living in your garden, even after your Kula partner has passed on and gone somewhere else. <laughs> Every meeting with different cooler partners will always shape you and you pick up without realizing. That is why in Kula we always welcome visitors. It's a very expensive exercise and the wives complain because when they arrive the wives have to cook three meals a day. The same time they have to go and do the garden work while the cooler partners sit there 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours a day, talking nothing else but cooler, cooler, and gossiping about their other competitors or planning what they're going to do. So the wives sometimes get fed up. They think that it's just an excuse for laziness to just sit there while they do all the housework of feeding you and looking after it. So it can be. Um, very, very frustrating for some parties. So that's the cost to it. But the powerful aspect of it is that shared experience always will leave its mark on your personality, on your thinking, on your mood, on your good feelings. So if you have a bad cooler partner, for sure, the minute he leaves, you have a warfare on your household because he has brought to you a bad cooler. Yeah, we 
Is there space for, for the pandemic team? Segregated the importance of our traditional uh, means of transport. Canoes and canoeing is a universal phenomenon. Wherever there is a rivers and lakes, there is a canoe. Wherever there is sea, there is canoe. But we differ, you know, in style and our approach. The new day is lucky that we have deep sea canoes, coastal canoes, and we have uh, river canoes. So we don't have to go to another part of the province. Notice in the last two years there are more canoes built and there are more, more people using silos than ever before. Speedboats are anchored while we are sailing.
canoes in Chua. There's 128 canoes. Of course, the canoes are smaller versions of the deep sea ones. And they are mostly coastal ones. Uh, they are short distance. Uh, and you find them mostly around the mainland, the shores of the uh, mainland. Uh, and they are not there. They just they cut a tree, hollow it. of gift giving and gift receiving is powerful. It is power. And depending on the type of spirit that you have, you can use Kula for very negative. It will definitely get rid of the enemies. You can amass a tremendous wealth for yourself, reputation, but at the expense of others. And many Kula masters have, along the way, not been afraid to use that negative force. You must not be afraid to deal with that. When somebody comes with a spear to attack you, do you lie down? Do you offer your neck up? Do you place yourself ready to be a spear? These are the choices. Of course you can. Then be a martyr. Good luck to you. That's the end of the subject. <laughs> but if you appreciate life and you want to have the other opportunity to create a new cooler, then your niceness and your gen gentleness also requires you to be responsible in self-protection. <laughs> and therefore you must be able to meet spear with spear. Finish. But not after you defeat him or protect yourself, you carry the spear further. You must lay it aside. After you spear him, have the grace to bury him and cry for him.
much, my Laura. recently it's introduced to shaking. So what we do is we tap, we tap on the shoulder, dig our hand into the basket and open it in the middle. Very conscious of uh, offenses. Uh, once I lose it, the festival is going. Everything has planned, right, Joe? 
Not really, but uh, <laughs> typical of Papua New Guinea in the last minute. So oh, I think it's everywhere. You find all these by tonight or tomorrow morning, everything will be up. Telephone companies are now coming in, and I have to be very careful, you know, about them. The new payment might allow them, but once you commercialize it, you lose the whole value of the kind of customer. Tax are also. I went in to criticize politics, so I didn't control one of my actors, and he had something in mind, so he spoke to. Good minutes went out of character. Well, he said it with what he was. I liked it. A politician didn't like it. <laughs> and every, everybody is going mad on TV. Maybe train them to be not so nice. <laughs> <laughs> See you.